I didn't know what I was going to come upon until the day I walked in there. Uh, but as soon as I heard the first note, I knew I said, this, this room has character and has a wonderful character. So my challenges were a keeping, obviously keeping out of the way of the players uh, as, in as best a way as I can, but then also to get the right balance of that room and, and the music. That was absolute key. This method of recording is very old. It's the way it was done even before electricity when uh, they would make 78s uh, record for 78s using just a big horn and the sound would get pushed down and cut into a, uh, through the needle, be cut onto a record that had been wound up. And, and the, how did you balance in those days? Well, it's basically where the horn was. And uh, so you'd record something, you'd listen to it, you'd go, gosh, uh, I can't really hear the banjo player. So you say, okay, Bob, move up closer. And that's very much how we did it that day. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, what might be nice is, is even if you're yeah. down here, yeah. uh, that might be, uh, yeah. we can really, really hear it. <laughs> um, but you might like a chair, huh? No! <laughs> 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 can we get you a pillow? <laughs> So there's actually a pair of microphones, again in the center as I mentioned, uh, which is capturing a three-dimensional sound, what we call mid-side recording. It's an old-fashioned way of recording stereo. Then a pair of microphones are out in the second pew, this is recorded in our church, uh, which really just gives me very much, again, it's picking up the room, but it's also it's picking up the uh, activity in the left side, and activity on the right side so that I can actually play with that and if someone's closer to one of those mics it helps me to feature uh, what they're what they're doing. The last mic was a microphone that was right in front of the, the double bass and that's simply so that I could I was able to uh, have to bring in as much articulation as possible. As it turned out that room was so lively in the low end that I didn't really need it to be able to hear the bass because the bass was big. 